Hello everyone, welcome back to Tech Cloud. If you are new and not yet subscribed, please subscribe to the channel to not miss any video. In today's video, we are going to discuss about an interesting topic which is decryption. So at first, let us understand what is decryption. Decryption is nothing but a process or technology to open up an encrypted file or traffic to inspect about whether the legitimate traffic or malicious traffic traversing throughout the network. It is actually a fundamental aspect of cryptographic system which help to safeguard data during a storage, transmission and retrieval. Okay, so within that time, we will try to understand like why decryption matters and the risk of encrypted traffic, some benefit, challenges and consideration of decryption, the best practices for decryption. Along with that, we will try to understand the TCP and SSL handshake and the most important, how does the decryption works. These SSL and TCP handshake comes with the decryption where it perform a very vital role during the decryption. So let's start with why decryption matters. As we know, encryption is a double-edged sword as while it protect data in transit, it can also be a hiding place for malicious activities. That where devices like firewall recognize the importance of decrypting traffic to ensure a thorough visibility and robust security. Including this, there are some risk of encrypted traffic as it can be challenged for traditional security method where threats like malware, command and control, communication and data exfiltration can hide within an encrypted packet. That where Palo Alto or another firewall like Checkpoint and uh, Fortinet can inspect and decrypt the traffic to identify and neutralize the potential threat. Including all this, there is some key benefit of decryption like it provide visibility as it can gain visibility into the encrypted traffic to block the potential threat. Next, policy enforcement. So we can apply security policy based on the decrypted content that ensure more comprehensive security posture. And last but not least, threat prevention. So basically it detect and prevent threats that may be lurking within encrypted communication channel. Including the benefit, there are some challenges and consideration for decryption like the first challenge is privacy concern as balancing the need for security with privacy is a thoughtful concern especially with the sensitive data. The another challenge is resource utilization where decryption requires more computational resources so organization to use decryption must optimize their infrastructure accordingly to perform decryption in the network. Then managing the key effectively while following security and compliance is bit challenging since the decryption can be decryption key can be misplaced or compromised in the network. According to this, let's now understand the best practice of decryption. The best practice of decryption include the most important part that the selective decryption. We would not require to decrypt all the traffic traversing through the network devices. We can selectively do the decryption like we can choose which traffic to decrypt based on policies and compliance requirement or company requirement. Then key management. We should implement a secure key management practice to protect the sensitive information. Also monitoring and reporting. So regularly monitor and generate report on the decrypted traffic for the insight and compliance check that will ensure and provide more vis visibility into what exactly is being decrypted and what is going on on the decrypted decryption traffic. Moving on, let's now understand and start with TCP handshakes. So before how does the decryption works, let's first understand the major factor like TCP and SSL handshake. 
when the traffic start at first they form tcp handshake during the tcp handshake client send a sin packet to the server and based on that server reply with the synac and at the end in the tcp handshake client acknowledge and then start the tcp connection once the tcp handshake is done now they will start ssl handshake so during the ssl handshake we will have a client and that client will send a hello in which client send some information like ssl protocol version session id list of c4 suit client hello extension based on client hello now server will reply with server hello in which server will include ssl protocol version session id selected cipher so it will be one of the cipher from the list received from the client in the client hello then server will also include its server certificate along with server hello extension so post receiving response from the server now client will initiate for pre master secret with the server and based on that session key creation will start and then they will form a master secret key using a symmetric session key once the master key created then both server and client will acknowledge and finish with each other now the actual message will start so this is how the tcp and ssl handshake being performed before the ssl decryption or before the decryption now let's understand how does the decryption works to understand the decryption we have a firewall in between which is a palo alto firewall and a client and a server and now at first what will happen client will initiate a ssl session with the server where firewall intercept the client ssl request then firewall initiate a ssl session with the server later server send a signed certificate to present to the client firewall signs a copy of the server certificate and send it to the client for the authentication and later on the client verifies the certificate from the server that where ssl tunnel are established between the client and the firewall and between the firewall to the server so this is how firewall intercept the traffic while sitting between the client and the server and does the decryption so this is all about today the decryption a uh, general information about the decryption and how does the decryption works basically i hope this video is helpful for you please do like comment share and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching see you in the next video